Today we've invited Lewis and his dad Graham to Kingspan Stadium for what they thought was an interview about their charity work. Little do they know, with the help of Bank of Ireland, they're in for a behind the scenes treat, a VIP behind the scenes experience, spending the day with the team. <laughs> Dear Lewis, we're so happy to welcome you here to Ulster Rugby as our special guest. Today you'll get to see what it's like to be part of Ulster Rugby. You'll get to watch the training in the Bank of Ireland box get to see a match day game changing rooms, go through the tunnel and watch your players train in the gym. <laughs> there may even be some surprises along the way, maybe some special visitors. <laughs> Thank you so very much. <laughs> That's class. I want them to play for Ireland, but I know I have to earn to, so I'm going to play for Ulster first because you can come to Ireland. In April 2022, Lewis sadly lost his younger brother, Callum, to cancer when he was only three years old. Since then, the Rennie family have established a foundation called the Big C and have raised over £16,000. Lewis's charity work started whenever Callum had just passed away. It was the start of the summer holidays and he started off doing this 100 mile challenge. And I kept him busy all summer and it got all our community involved, his, his rugby club involved. Ben Moxham from Ulster came down and, and walked a mile or two with him. And uh, he was supposed to walk 100 miles and he ended up walking 126. I think he, he raised over nearly £20,000. And he's currently doing a seven peak challenge there at the minute. He wants to climb all the peaks in the morns. Uh, he's got it. <laughs> we well, tried to lose out with a few things he's grown up just to like, give him a, a taste of everything. And Robbie seemed to stick. You know, he, he looks forward to it every Saturday. It's been a godsend to Lewis and me. Uh, whenever Callum was, was sick, and on a Saturday morning, it was those two or three hours, it was just Lewis and me and her friends, and we didn't necessarily switch off, but we, we knew it was just, that was our time. This guy's good. He got me at the end of the session, it's tough to, nice one, man. That's good work, keep it up. You're looking sharp, I'm not. I didn't expect uh, the, the VIP treatment, to be honest, no, so uh, <laughs> this is a wonderful surprise. Lewis, as you see, he's in his element. Hey, bud, how are you? You good? How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Brilliant. You're getting better and better. You're better than us at your age. There you go. Are you left and right footed? Go! Yeah! Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. How are you going? You're fast. Uh, not as fast as you probably are. He's the same height as you. <laughs> My favourite was playing rugby on the pitch. There we go. My favourite is John Curley and Ben Moxham. Oh, <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Do you know if you guess? There's a side ball, and then there's a side jersey as well. There you go. And then for the Dragons game, how do you fancy giving like the Mad Ice Fail at the end? Oh, there you go. Curls of acid. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. You give me the loose stuff. <laughs> like oh, every single bit of like beer yeah. is from you. Oh, we're not. You deserve it. Yes! We've been up at the Kingspan a few times and to get this kind of treatment is going to stick with him. But on the way up in the car, we were talking about things. He keeps on about how lucky he is. But I was trying to explain to him that it's not lucky. He's worked hard. He's worked hard, he got up in the mornings, he went and done his walks, he's climbed his mountains and you get what you deserve kind of thing, you get what you, you earn it, he's earned it, so he always remember it, and he, but he knows he earned it, he's, you, don't, you don't just get given things like this, you know, so we'll definitely remember it. <laughs>